Hello guys, Dan here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to speed up your Wi-Fi. Now this guy is going to be a guide on showing you how you can speed up your Wi-Fi for free, and then also things you can actually buy to improve your Wi-Fi speed, or just your network in general. Now, first of all, I'm just going to switch over to the PC screen, and what I want to do guys for this is actually just sign in to your gateway. So it's going to be 196.168.1.1. It might be different at the end, it, it might be 0.0.1. But that's really for you guys to figure out. It should be on the back of your router. Now, once you're signed in, you want to go to wireless, and then you want to go to uh, the channel. So this is the Wi-Fi channel, and basically, channel is um, just a channel your Wi-Fi works on. And a lot of routers around the area will typically have different channels. But if a router, say near you, has the same channel, you have interference, and and you get and you get a lot, lot of you know bad kind of stuff going on. When your router is trying to send uh, data to your PCs and uh, iPhones and stuff like that, so a good thing to do is ch is, is to change your channel to something that suits you. And a, and a good way to test it is just to do a general speed test, as you can see here. So the speed I'm getting now is about eh, about 17, 18. So we're going to say about 19 meg. It's about my it's about 19 meg. So it's gone up to 20 now. So as you can see. Now, if I change my Wi-Fi channel to say channel six and click apply, we're going to see if this kind of makes it better. And the best thing to do is just kind of, you know, just go through changing them and see if your speed improves. And if it does, keep it at that, and then yeah, you should kind of be happy from there. Now, most routers are on auto, and a bad thing with that is that, fair enough, when your router first turns on, it'll select a channel um, which is good for the router because routers around it don't have that channel so you're going to get a fast speed however if someone else turns their router on in the area and their router isn't set to auto and say theirs goes to like channel one and your router's gone to channel one by auto you're going to get interference now i've just changed the channel to channel six and we're just going to see if the actual speed has actually gone up from the 1920 uh, meg point so as you can see it's risen to the 28 29 meg point and yeah there we are we've been Proved our Wi-Fi by 30%. So that's a 30% increase in speed for free. We've just changed the channel. Now, I'm actually on fiber, so I get 50 megabit. Um, it does sometimes go up to 75 megabit via a wired connection. Wi-Fi does make your internet typically slower because it's wireless, but 30 megabit through um, Wi-Fi is not bad at all. So as you can see, you can change these up and down as much as you like, but I would kind of recommend you to just go in for, for channel one, six, or 11, as other channels that don't have overlapping kind of frequencies, that's gonna typically give you the best performance. Now, just gonna close out of that. Now, in terms of the things you can do if Wi-Fi channels don't help, and you just think that, you know, you just genuinely do need to increase and kind of upgrade your existing um, wireless network. One thing that you can buy, and are relatively cheap these days for about 15 quid, you can buy an access point. So these just plug into the wall and extend your current Wi-Fi signal. They're incredibly easy to set up, and these have been around quite a long time, to be honest. Not a lot of people know that, that, that you can get range extenders, but they're so, so good because they're cheap and they just extend your connection. And in terms of online gaming and pings and stuff like that, um, they really don't increase that that much, so you are really going to still have a really nice gaming experience, even with range extenders and stuff added into the connection. Now, say if you don't want to buy one of these, or you think that you know you know that your current range is okay, um, one thing you might want to buy is, is an adapter. So, so say you might want to buy a new USB adapter for, say, your laptop or your computer. Maybe you think the, the wireless adapter in in your current machines are not that good. And as you can see here, look, you can get uh, USB adapters for like five to 10 pounds. They're really, really cheap. And some of them are incredibly tiny, like this one here. This one here by TP-Link. You know, they're, they're really, really small these days. And to be honest, they all do the same job and stuff like that. Now, say if you don't want to buy a USB one and you know you actually want to install something inside your computer, you can buy a wireless adapter. So this is rather a PCIe or a PCI card. Now, I personally have this one here, 26 pounds, a TP-Link at the N900. It's, it's got three antennas, and the antennas are quite important these days because the more antennas you have, typically the better signal and speed and also range you're going to have from that. I suppose signal and range is the same thing, really, but as you can see, I have this one here, and with the three antennas, it really is good, and yeah, you, you do get a really good connection. Now, talking about these, as you can see, just showing you some B-roll now, what you would want to do is position the antennas correctly. Now, I see people having them all over the place, and the best thing to do is rather to position them all up. So, say if you uh, say if you're on like the ground floor and the router say on the first or second floor, position them all up in a straight line. That's the best way to get the best connection. And yeah, some people think you know just putting them all all, all over the place kind of 
does that. But now you want to have them in say you, you know all all of them facing upwards. Now say if you are upstairs and your router is downstairs, face them all downwards. A lot of people just have them again all over the place. Face them all downwards. That is the best way to get the best connection. And that, guys, is going to kind of sum up my video on how to improve your Wi-Fi speed. So I've gone over some three, you know, free methods such as changing your Wi-Fi channel, and then I've gone over things you can buy such as um, PCI Express Wi-Fi cards, uh, U USB Wi-Fi adapters, and also wireless access points. You can also buy a new router, but chances are there's nothing going to be wrong with your router. But you know. If all that doesn't help, the best thing to do is just contact your ISP and ask them for a boost in speed. You will need to pay some more per month or whatnot, but if your internet's slow and you want it to be faster, you've got to pay your internet service provider to give you better internet. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and also subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.